Well, you can see here we get a couple of hits of different uh, things that you can go to. Usually, the the first ones that you don't want to that, that that show up, uh, like say for example, like this one. Uh, you don't want to go with anything .com if you're dealing with schools. You can see here that, and the little green address. As we look at it closer, you'll see that it has a .com ending, and that's for a commercial. Those usually show up, uh, you know, people getting their ads or trying to get in there. All right. So, but for example, when we look at this one, this is a legit one. You'll see that it says it says edu. Edu is more synonymous with a school. gov is more synonymous with a government site. But um, okay. So, for example, if you also want to look at financial aid, let's take that for example. This is important too. All right. So, you, what you want to go to? You see these guys, seasonal cash secrets. These are guys are just uh, people that want to get in there and sell you something so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and stay with something that says with gov or this is associated with a government website and you know what we're gonna have here is it'll give us uh, the real legit website alright and you'll see that I'm navigating here back and forth you can see that the, these back buttons are the ones that help you to get through and you can see I'm going back and forth into the site all right. Um, the next thing that you're going to look at is your address bar. Okay. How we got your your address bar here, and if you click on it, you can go ahead and type in I don't know like let's go to CNN. All right. So we type in www.cnn.com. Boom. And we're here. We're here on the site. And we can see that we're looking at the website. Okay, another thing that, that I'm frequently asked is uh, the text is really small. How do I go in there and make it bigger for me? Okay, this is, this is fairly simple and it is a very useful command for when you want to go ahead and uh, look at items a little closer. All right, so what you want to do is you want to find the control key, press the control key and hold it down the same way that we did earlier, okay? And now I want you to find the plus key, like two plus two. It is a plus, the plus key. You know, it looks like a little cross, and it is next to the backspace key. So I want you to go ahead and hold control, holding control down, press the plus key. And what you'll see when I do this, if it wants to do this, control and plus, I start to zoom in. And as I start to zoom in, the text starts to get bigger. This is especially for people that have trouble seeing the keyboard, okay? So, okay, so once we take it, you can see that you can take it to a fairly, fairly zoomed in level. And then to go back and do the same thing is control and minus. You see that? Ah, uh, yeah. We're back to the same way it was. So, yeah, keep in mind that that's how a browser works, okay? Uh, we're going to go ahead and close out Firefox. If you haven't installed Firefox yet, I really recommend it. It is a very safe browser, and uh, most of your new computers will come with Internet Explorer. But uh, here at Phoenix College, some of the some of the Internet Explorer won't be compatible with an online course, so it's kind of a drawback. If you want to go ahead and get your uh, your Firefox, you would go to Mozilla.org. Uh, we're going to open here another browser known as Google Chrome. We're going to uh, left click on it twice, double click on it. And it's a different take on the web browser. It's pretty much relatively the same thing as Firefox. This is just uh, another another version of a web browser. So say, for example, I type in CNN.com. Uh, it looks relatively the same way as uh, what we're looking here at Firefox. Yeah, we'll give it a little second to load. And uh, okay, so we're looking at it, and it works. Let's let's try out a few little of the same things that we did on the Firefox. Okay, so we do Control and Plus. It, it zooms in the same way. Control and minus zooms back out the same way, right? And you know you can back go back and forth with your back buttons the same way. Okay, and the address works the same. The address bar works the same way. You type in whatever you want. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to NBCnews.com.
and we got your web browser going yeah the same way so a, a web browser the things that you just gotta worry about is going back and forth it really helps with navigation and um, later on you can look at other little things such as tabs like uh, I'm doing here which allow you to go to different screens without having to always use a back and forth key so yeah keep that in mind okay we're gonna go ahead and close that now we're gonna head over to the, the the final few points of our presentation okay okay so basic search help um, okay we're gonna open our browser one more time and you'll see that it'll take us here to our Google search uh, is the most popular one that you're looking at you know it's the biggest is the one that's mo known the best so again if I wanted to say uh, I don't know uh, scholarship programs in Phoenix okay for athletes um, you know scholarships scholar scholarship programs for athletes in Phoenix Community Colleges. Okay, so, all right, so we're looking at, you know, a fairly long term is a uh, scholarship programs for athletes in Phoenix Community Colleges. And this is great and all because you know it definitely gave us the results that we want. But uh, sometimes you might not be so lucky. Uh, if if you had all this text in here, you could definitely condense it and just maybe call it uh, scholarship programs for athletes in Phoenix. And I think you'll pretty much get back the same results. Well, you might get different ones. Okay, so we're looking at Phoenix College. And uh, yeah, you have to be really specific with your terms in terms to get a good hit. Uh, if you were less specific, scholarship programs without you know putting in Phoenix or for athletes, you'll get a bunch of search terms and nothing will be specific for what you're looking at. You'll get you know different schools, you know Coca-Cola. What is that? Uh, any, anyway, um, yeah, be specific with your search terms and you'll have a better time. Uh, searching for Google or finding or finding better better results in Google okay also use key terms uh, try to keep it we're using pretty much the key terms that you want to find again keep it simple but be descriptive definitely is a key to being a, a really really good search searchman or a <laughs> searchman no a really good Google user yeah that's what I wanted to say and um, definitely take a look into it uh, the World Wide Web has a lot of things that you can learn from it and I hope that with this lesson you'll jump into computers without having that much fear I mean you won't get into too much trouble by just doing some of this and uh, learning a little bit more as you go experience is definitely what's gonna help you also practice so yeah just I hope this this lesson uh, opens up your ability to not be afraid of computers and just go ahead and jump in. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for, for sticking around for this lesson and I hope you can get something out of it.